Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Rabat, Morocco yesterday on a private visit. Upon his arrival, His Majesty the King was welcomed by the Moroccan Prime Minister Aziz Al Hanouche. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Public Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his office in Alwadi Palace the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The meeting was attended by the Vice President of the General Sports Authority, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and Executive Chairman of the General Sports Authority, Dr Abdurrahman Asghar. At the outset, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa welcomed the Minister of Finance and National Economy and conveyed to him the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the wishes of His Majesty to all the Ministry's employees for continued success in their tasks, in line with the vision of the Government, headed by His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to achieve the goals of Bahrain Vision 2030. For his part, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, expressed his great pride in the distinguished efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which contribute to achieving development and growth in the sports sector, which in turn is reflected more progress and prosperity in the field, stressing that the Ministry is working to implement the vision of the Government, headed by His Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, to support all sectors and institutions of the state for a brighter and more advanced future under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. Under the patronage of His Highness the First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Public Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the National Day Championship for Weightlifting, which was organised by the Bahrain Weightlifting and Bodybuilding Association from the 16th to the 18th of December. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his happiness with the wide participation in the tournament, including male and female players from Bahrain, GCC and a number of Asian and European countries, stressing that such sports gatherings enhance efforts to make the Kingdom of Bahrain a major station in organising various sporting events, which contribute to promote sports tourism in the Kingdom, in order to serve the aspirations to develop the sports system and contribute to the strengthening of the role of sport as one of the tributaries that achieved Bahrain Vision 2030. His Highness highly appreciated the efforts made by the Bahrain Weightlifting Association in implementing the plans and programmes that support the development of the sports, which pushed towards achieving more successes in the sport of weightlifting in Bahrain. His Highness indicated that holding this championship at this time, which coincides with the Kingdom's celebrations of its national holidays, reflects the Association's keenness to participate and interact in all national occasions to enhance the role of sports in emphasising national values, deepening loyalty and cementing the images of these occasions. His Highness praised the strong levels presented by the participants in the championship, congratulating the winners and wishing better luck for the rest in the upcoming participations. About 50 male and female players participated in weightlifting competitions and 70 male and female players participated in the bodybuilding competitions.
On behalf of the chairman of the Russia Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday attended the final of the National Day Paddle Tournament 2021, held under the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman at the Paddle Club. About 100 teams and more than 200 individuals who competed across seven different divisions took part in the National Day Paddle Tournament. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman highlighted that Bahraini youth are consistently proving their excellence in various sports and their commitment to developing and refining their skills to achieve success at all levels. His Highness noted that the support given by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the Kingdom's athletes. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman noted that the Kingdom of Bahrain is committed to creating opportunities for Bahraini athletes to further enhance their talents to contribute to the Kingdom's sports achievements. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman also highlighted His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman's interest in supporting such events and championships that contribute to the development of sports in the Kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman attended the final match of the A Division and awarded the winning teams of the tournament. His Highness commended the spirit of sportsmanship and enthusiasm shown by all players in different divisions and a contribution of the supporting authorities. His Highness also praised the efforts of the organising committee, which resulted in attracting a large number of teams, players and fans who were keen to attend the tournament's activities for a whole week. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Amen bin Tafik al Muayyad, also attended the event. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Ziani, met today with the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Expatriate of Jordan, Ayman Safadi, on the sidelines of the extraordinary meeting of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the Organisation of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC, on Afghanistan, held in Islamabad in the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. The two sides reviewed the strong brotherly relations between the two countries and ways to enhance cooperation and joint coordination to serve the interests of both countries and people. They also discussed the latest developments in the region. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain condemns the launch of a drone by the terrorist Houthi militia against the city of Kamish Mashir in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. It also strongly denounces its two drone attack against Abta International Airport as a continuation of the Houthi deliberate targeting of the safety and security of facilities and civilians. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs commends the vigilance of the Saudi Air Defence Forces, who managed to successfully intercept and destroy the drones, affirming the support of the Kingdom of Bahrain with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in all the steps it takes against all attempts to target its security, stability and safety of its territories and citizens. The Executive Office of the National Plan to promote the spirit of belonging to the nation and reinforce the values of nationalism, Bahrain Une, celebrates the National Day and a Session Day with a high-profiled event that reflects the projects and sustainable development accomplishments in Bahrain under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Bahrain Una's A Night and Flag exhibition opened on Friday the 17th at Bahrain Financial Harbour Walkway under the patronage of Chairman of the National Council on the Arts, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The event is part of the ongoing events and programmes of Bahrain Una and in line with the directors of the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, towards implementing initiatives and events that emphasises the reinforcement of national values and raising a generation who believes in such values and the importance of national loyalty. 
The exhibition represents an artistic national message and asserts the symbolism of equestrianism with its strength, authenticity and spirit of leadership. It converged with the patriotic value and symbolism of the national flag that are manifested in the national celebrations of Bahrain, His Majesty the King's Accession Day and Bahrain's achievements towards sustainable development. The Chairman of the National Arts Council for Arts, Sheikh Rashid, commended the Bahraini photographer Mohammed Buhusan's efforts to use photography as part of a fine arts to reflect the accomplishments and the heritage symbolism represented by the Bahraini Knight with his strength and leadership, historically and continues to do so with the modern achievements. For her part, a director of the Executive Office of Bahrainuna, Hala Suleiman, confirmed that the exhibition carries with it the symbolism of pride, glory and strength that has characterised the Bahraini night historically. The Ministry of Housing distributed the certificates to the beneficiaries of the Khalifa and East Sitra housing projects. While attending the distribution ceremony, Minister of Housing Abbasan bin Yaqab al Hama said that the distribution schedule will extend until the end of this month, including the handover of the keys to the units of East Hid City and delivery of allocation certificates within the cities of East Sitra and Khalifa within an accelerated and continuous pace of work. Marking the National Day's holiday celebrations, the Ministry of Information continues to organise its daily activities in the Heritage Village in Raz Hayan in the Southern Governorate. The festival's activities include performances by folk bands and a market that includes various shops and products, as well as entertainment programmes for children. The Heritage Village reflects on important aspects of the development process of the Kingdom of Bahrain related to people and construction. And in view of the transition to the yellow level in a precautionary manner, the Festival of the Ministry of Information in the Heritage Village receives its visitors on the 19th and 21st of this month from 4 in the afternoon until 10 in the evening, where the entrance to the festival will be restricted to the vaccinated only and children accompanied by the vaccinated families. Following the Government Executive Committee's approval, the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 Bahrain moved to the precautionary adoption of the yellow alert level starting from today, the 19th of December 2021, until Monday the 31st of January 2022. The task force highlighted that this step is precautionary. The new Omicron variant has not spread in the Kingdom of Bahrain, but the decision has been taken in line with the Kingdom of Bahrain's approach of prioritising public health through proactive planning in accordance with the international best practice. The task force noted that this decision remains subject to review and upon further information becoming available on Omicron variant from internationally recognised medical research. The task force stressed the need for everyone to adhere to the yellow alert level procedures previously announced, making clear the importance of continuing to all to adhere to precautionary measures issued by the relevant authorities to preserve public health. The task force urged qualifying individuals to attend directly at health centres for their booster shots without the need to make an appointment. The task force noted the importance of receiving booster shots in time to support national efforts and protect the health of citizens and residents. The task force concluded by adding that eligible individuals who have already received their booster shot can follow the procedures of the green alert level. This is an approach being taken by other countries. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,194,968 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,168,676 had taken the second, and 733,811 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 478 with 44 recoveries, 101 registered new cases and no deaths. 37 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 32 are contacts of active cases and 32 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.